Okay, I just went to the grocery store um, just to get like some basic stuff. You guys know, I feel like me and Houston literally like go through groceries so much. Like I feel like you guys are probably like, they're crazy. Like they literally get groceries every single week and I know. But I feel like we're good at like planning on like what groceries we need just for the week so we don't overbuy and so like our food doesn't end up going bad. Like we're able to use them the amount of time that we have. But I just went grocery shopping, but they didn't have, I really want to make homemade crab and goon and they didn't have wonton skins. They had the imitation crab, but they didn't have wonton skins. So I think I'm gonna run over to Publix, stuff to get waters and stuff anyways. So I'm gonna go to Publix and see if they have that there. Okay, change of plans. I did not go to Publix just because like I was thinking about it and I have like old food and like ice cream and stuff from Aldi and I didn't want it to go bad or like melt. It obviously wouldn't go bad that fast, but I didn't want anything to melt. So we did not go to Publix, but it's okay because Houston, whenever he gets off of work, we're just gonna go to Publix together. And that will honestly be easier because, I mean, it is hard. Like when I go to Publix by myself and I have to carry up like all that stuff, like it's really hard. Okay, so just made a smoothie. It's so good. The lights are like lighting is weird in here, but oh my goodness, it was so good. It's like so thick though. I like, <laughs> I'm like, barely get it, but I'm making Houston one now. Just come back from the farm here, he left. But I put milk, yogurt. He does lactose free milk, so like, I feel like that's like healthier. I don't know. So it's not like hurt or something. And then I got this it's strawberries, peaches, and bananas. So I just put some of that in there. That was a lot, but you know, I'm just gonna use the rest of that because anyways. I put that. Then frozen blueberries. I just love having frozen blueberries on hand, honestly, because I can literally, like, or if I make like yogurt or anything like that. These are great to put on top. They just like have a lot of flavor and they're just like, always so good. But I did that. Now I'm gonna mix it up. I don't really ever put ice because I feel like the ice makes it too like, I don't know. I do not like ice in my smoothie. But I just like to do frozen fruit, some type of like milk, orange juice, water, whatever you want. And then yogurt, cause that's like the perfect recipe. Guys, I am so excited because I'm about to meet my niece for the first time. Oh, he's like freaking out down there. Okay, I'm not sure. Anyways, but I just did my makeup. I need to do my hair. It just washed it, so I really just need to blow dry it. And then I'm gonna head over to my parents' house and meet my sister there to meet my niece for the first time. So excited. They said she's still super tiny because she she's only like three weeks old. So yeah, she's still like small, small. But everybody has met her except me, which I'm so mad about. But so I'm gonna meet her and I'm literally like freaking out. I'm so excited. Okay, real quick. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit because I thought it's so cute. So I just have, you can't really see it, just like a little white tank top underneath. Um, I got it from like Forever 21. Then this little jumpsuit is from Target. It's so cute, it's like ankle length. Um, obviously Louie supported by Houston, of course. And it's gonna wear like my cute sneakers but since we're literally just going, like I'm just going to the house and I'm gonna take my shoes off when I get there, I am just wearing Tories, of course. Basic, cute, simple, easy to throw on. And me and Ollie are gonna go meet the baby. Are you so excited? He's so excited, he literally can't even handle it. What are you doing, feeding the child? Guys, how freaking cute. We got Ollie a little dog hat and a little <laughs> like pajamas. This is in my other vlog, but I always, I just keep forgetting to show you guys. He doesn't like it very much, but. Ollie. <laughs> yeah, he's not a fan. <laughs> Good morning vlog. Haven't vlogged in a minute because I haven't had anything to vlog. I've literally just been working the past couple days, but. <laughs> First of all, I ordered this off Amazon. It's literally so cute, I'm obsessed. It's like a Barefoot Dreams, but like dupe of it. Here, I'll show you guys so it's down so you guys can kind of see better. Um, Like the Barefoot Dreams blankets, but it's like a uh, like set of it. It's not from Barefoot Dreams, from Amazon, but anyways, super cute. Um, I am going to get ready at my mom's house with my sisters for my aunt's bridal shower today. I don't know if I'll vlog too much of it just because it's like her bridal shower and I don't want to be like putting the camera in people's faces, but I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go get Duncan first because 
they just came out with their like pumpkin stuff and Starbucks has it. I honestly think Dunkin' did that to like promote their sales like better, which is a great idea because it's also working because everybody's going to Dunkin' for pumpkin stuff because obviously it's fall. Anyways, but so I'm gonna head over there and yeah, I guess I'll turn on the vlog camera when there's something to vlog. I fake tanned if you guys couldn't tell. I look a lot of shades darker, which is how I wanted it. So anyways, I will yeah, turn the vlog camera on when there's something to vlog. Morning vlog. It's Wednesday. I've been forgetting to vlog all week long, but it's okay, because we're back. Houston's leaving for work a little bit later than usual, but it's okay. This is a meeting. Ollie, kennel. Kennel. Get in your kennel. Good boy. Sort of. Get all the way in there. Okay, good boy. Love you. I know people are probably gonna come for me because he's like in such a big cage and he's such a small dog, but I mean, he's happy, so. Well, <laughs> he don't look very happy. Here's the birthday girl. Yay, Gigi. How old are you? Um, ew, why is your camera on down? 15 now. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. I can get with 18 year old now. I don't know who told you that was the world, that's not true. But she's about to be able to drive, not her own, but you know. We're making a quick target run. I have to get Lily a gift. So I actually forgot prior to get, not forgot, but I actually know what I was gonna get her. So I'm at Target now, but I also found some clothes. So I'm gonna try those on first. Um, and then go some there. I'm just gonna do like bad stuff and like face stuff, because that's what she likes and she likes. Okay. I like this because I feel like she needs a lot more basics in my closet. And it's just like a little gray dress. It's very like loose though, so I don't have to film up that. Like I wish it was just a little bit like tighter fitting. <laughs> it's cute, but it just like makes me feel I don't feel grandma. I'm not sure. But like it feels very big on me. It's not like the most comfortable material. Like I'm trying to get more fall pieces, but I really like these jeans. They're just black jeans or Levi's. I think they're so cute. I don't necessarily like this shirt matched up with the jeans, but I do think this is cute. Like if I wore it with some leggings, just like very casual. Um, it has like a little hoodie on the back. I think it's like a cute little, just like add something to it. I want more damage than I thought I was going to, but it's okay because I figured going into Target, I was gonna end up spending like a lot of money, but whatever. But I got this pink Sherpa blanket, not for me, for my sister. Like, you guys saw today was her birthday, but I had to get her a birthday gift, so I got her that. And then the rest of her stuff is like mixed in here, but I had to get sandwich bags for Houston for his lunches. And then I also got her these like face masks. It's a lip mask and an eye mask. I got her those. And then I got myself, because I'm trying to be good on my skincare and stuff. I got the, um, I've seen these on TikTok, the sculpting like face things. Uh, face like razors for my hairy face and last well, clean the things you're wearing. So I got those. I'm really excited about that. Then I got I showed you guys this shirt on, but I ended up getting this shirt. I ended up getting just the black one in the align top. It literally looks just like it. Like I can't. Then I got a candle. It's the Thresh Threshold brand. Coastal Wind and Lavender, whatever that means. I don't know, it smells really good. It smells like very clean. I was gonna get like a fall scent, but I just feel like it's too early, like, I don't know. And I just wanted like the apartment to smell like clean. And it has the like crackling wood, like when you light it and stuff. So I got a big one and then I got a small one for the bathroom. So I wanna go, the big one or go in the kitchen, the small one will go in the bathroom. I ended up getting the black jeans, so cute. And then I ended up getting my niece this little outfit. What really sold it for me was a little headband. It has like a little knot. That's so cute. But so I'm going to see her and my sister and their, her husband in like a month, in like October. So I just like, anytime I see baby stuff, I'm like, I have to get it for so I can bring it up to her. But that's all I got. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff up. Okay guys, here's the outfit for dinner. Black jeans, a little, I don't know if you can see it. It has like little ruffles. Um, bodysuit, these little shoes. Got them off Sheen. They're just kind of like chunky, like sandals. Um, this is her birthday gift. <laughs> Can't find a bag for it. You know how I am, always unprepared. But it's okay. I mean, the blanket and the face mask 
face mask strap to it will be fine. But I think it's about to rain. So I'm like not about that life. But I'm gonna go give her this. Sorry, I got dark. <laughs> I'm gonna go give her this and I guess I'll just turn on the vlog when I get there. It's for the vlog. It's butter, Lily, what do you mean? How do you feel? Okay. <laughs> what you got? What you got? John is better. Where's the ranch? Yeah, my boy. Get you some. Dip it. Tell you guys what happened last night. You said you want to tell me right now. I guess I'll tell you. But it was like 10, 10 o'clock, and we had a knock at the door, and so we we're like, what the heck? So like went out there, and there's just like all these groceries just like sitting at our doorstep. And we don't order groceries. I like ordered groceries from there before, but definitely like not ours. And so now I guess we just like have free groceries. I don't know because I think it's like they delivered it to our building number, but it could be like the building number in a different apartment complex. So it's like, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, but I'm gonna show you guys what we got. They got like a bunch of frozen meals. It's like chocolate ice cream stuff. Um, they got us some cold brew and creamer. That was nice. <laughs> Houston feels very guilty about this, I do too. But rice crisp. Cheeto puff things, oatmeal, I don't know what that is. Oh, those are like crackers, pretzels, and like raspberries. So if you're watching this and this is your groceries, we will give them back to you, but we're keeping them all frozen and safe right now. Good morning, today is Thursday. We have just some like errands to run. It's really just like an errands day and appointments. I have my eye appointment. Just like a checkup, um, because my contacts and stuff, and I have to get new contacts ordered. So I have that, and then I also have, what else do I have? Oh, a nail appointment. Yep, because my nails are super grown out, and my thumb popped off. <laughs> so that's not good. But we're gonna go do that. Um, my eye appointment's at like 10:30, and then my nail appointment's at 12:30. So I have a little bit of time in between, but I have to go. I'm like selling a bunch of clothes, so I have to go drop off like a pair of clothes at like one of my friend's house that is getting them. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys when I see you. I'm probably gonna try to go stop by Dunkin' because I tried the Dunkin' pumpkin cold brew and I liked it a lot more than the Starbucks pumpkin cold brew, which is like very a surprise to me, but like not that the Starbucks, I mean, Dunkin' obviously is just super sweet and like doesn't have as much of a coffee taste, but like the Starbucks, it just didn't even taste like pumpkin. It just literally tastes like cold brew. And so I was like, eh, like I'm okay. Like my suit to Dunkin' this year, but I guess we'll see if I end up going and getting that. It just kind of depends on if I have time. Okay, guys, just wanted to show you what I got. Just basic pink, of course, but they're pretty. I love the shape. It's like perfect. I got them a little bit shorter because they were too long for me. Okay, I just did a devotional and read my Bible a little bit. I just got finished with my eye appointment and I'm about to head to my nail appointment. But I just wanted to share this because it is so good. Like, it just is like so good. So I'm reading 1 John, which is at the end of the Bible. It's not the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's not those. It's a different book. There's 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John. It's the three books in the Bible before Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. But I was reading it. It's so good. Basically, the story behind 1 John and who wrote it is they're not 100% sure if it was John the Apostle. That was one of Jesus's um, disciples or if it was a different John. But either way, it was a John. And he is basically writing to believers, which is kind of interesting because the rest of the Bible is kind of writing to like unbelievers and believers, but this one is writing to just believers. Um, it's basically talking about just reassuring your faith in Jesus and about false prophets and anybody that doesn't claim that Jesus was a real person, was on earth and died for our sins is a false prophet and not true of the Lord. But I just wanted to read because these two verses really, really stuck out to me. Like, I don't know why, but they just like, popped off the page, like in my face. So 1 John 4, 19 says, we love each other because he loved us first. I 
love that so much just because I feel like the earth is so full of like division and people are just so against each other and I just I mean you guys know how it is if you have watched the news or if you're just living in the real world um I just think that's so good and I mean even I mean I'm guilty of saying mean things about somebody or saying that I don't like somebody whatever but I just think that is so good that we love each other because he loved us first I don't know that just like really like I know it's so simple sounding but it just like really like it's so deep when you like really think about it like he loved us and died for us so why should we not love each other because we're all God's like daughters and sons so we should love all love each other because we're all of God anyways I just thought that was so good then first John 521 says dear children keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart that was like also mind-blowing to me just because I do feel like there's a lot of things even in my life that I like have in my heart that are not of Jesus that are not of the Lord it's more of the world that have really like taken control of my heart if that makes sense so I just I mean I just thought that was really good because if there's anything even if it's TikTok Instagram a person a career path anything that's taking place in your heart over God like that is an issue um which I know it's hard because obviously like there's people that are in committed relationships there's people that are in really good careers but I mean if that is taking place of God in your heart and there's a problem um and I always think I always say pray I know a lot of times it's hard to pray because I've gone through it where I feel like I prayed to God but I'm like just asking for stuff and I feel like I'm not like I don't feel God whenever I'm praying but also at the same time I've noticed recently like I haven't been in the word I mean I've been going to church like here and there but really being in the word of God and like reading it and understanding it because I've done it multiple times I usually do that when I read the bible I just read through it read a chapter and I like go through I'm like I don't even know what I read like you know when you just read if you don't actually like pertain to any information so what I've been doing I don't know if this will help you guys because this has really helped me is um I'll either search up on like just safari or like youtube like this like like history on a book of the bible um i did that with the first john and it really like reading through it like it really like clicked for me really made sense like i was like oh my gosh this is the first time that i'm like reading the bible and actually understanding like what it's saying and like being able to focus on it also i don't know if you can see i've like i know some people don't like to write on their bibles i do just because i feel like i can look back um and like look at the underlying things that, like really stuck out to me but underlining, I mean, that's even a study hack, like in just like school, like if you're reading something to be able to like, make sure you're really focused on reading it and not just kind of like skimming over, like focus on things to underline. Cause it really does. It focuses your attention on it. Cause you're looking for the important things to underline. So obviously the whole entire Bible is important, but there's these key points that really stick out that are really like the main point of the story. But anyways, I don't know why I just felt compelled to tell you guys that because it has really helped me. I've always had a super hard time reading the Bible. Like I could never get into it. And even if like I would read the Bible for a week straight and I just, I didn't understand, like it didn't click for me. But really like looking to the history of the Bible, like learning what it's about, it like really has helped me be like, oh, okay, like, now that I know what this is about and now I'm reading it, like it is making so much more sense. So anyways, just being able to have the word like on your heart and in your mind just throughout the day one it's gonna instantly put you in a better mood and two i mean it it tells us in the bible like you're supposed to have god's word like on your heart like that's a shield for you and like not a weapon but like you know what i mean a weapon to protect your heart um and to be able to help other people i mean if you're i mean you could be a christian all day every day and if somebody asks you about the bible or if somebody doesn't see you living out the word of god then it is very obvious god tells us like the best way to be able to minister to people is just to act like Jesus and they will see that. And that's one of the best ways for people to turn to the Lord. I mean, if they see you and they're like, wow, they're so happy. They're so joyful. They're so content in their life. Like, what is that? Like, why are they like that? Cause this world is full of so much hate and just everything. So if they see you living that way and living how Jesus lives, like it's really gonna, it's really gonna stand out, especially in today's society. Like it, they're gonna notice. So anyways, I just felt compelled to say that. And I, just because I know there's probably some people out there that read the Bible and, you know, really try to get into the Word, but they just can't. So I just wanted to tell you guys that and tell you that I really liked those verses because they were so good. But thanks if you guys listened to this whole, like, little six-minute spiel. But anyways, I'm going to go get my nails done. It's, like, 12 now. My appointment's at 1230, so I'll probably leave in, like, 10 minutes-ish, probably. But anyways, yeah. Okay. Little Culver's run. We're going to go to Dairy Queen, but... Culver's is a lot closer.
Also, he's got glasses. You guys couldn't tell. He looks a lot older. 71st, I think. Of course, we brought Ollie, star of the show. Say hi. hi. But of course, Colbert's line is taking 10 years. Oh. I guess I'm right. That way, disorder. Wait, what? What? What's that? Well, I thought we were about to order it. What are you getting? Are we going to get the app? Okay, guys, this is the end of the vlog. Me and Houston are just at the house, hanging out. But um, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the vlog. Subscribe and like. Um, hopefully, next vlog is not as jumbled as this one. I was editing it and I realized how like all over the place it was. But I put in like what days uh, everything I vlogged was on, so hopefully that helps you guys like understand what's going on. But it was just kind of whenever I had something I remembered to pull out the camera, that's just what I vlogged. But I should be having some vacations coming up soon, so that'll be more like actually like set in stone videos that like make a lot more sense and have like actual topic to them. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say bye until the next video and I guess we'll... See you guys in the next one.